Hello, we just released CarMaker 10. As you might know, this includes MovieNX, our new visualization. For this occasion, we have a special guest today, Martin Felis. Hi, Martin. Hi, Andreas. Could you please introduce yourself to our audience? Yeah, so hi, I'm Martin Felis, the project lead of MovieNX, the new visualization experience of CarMaker. So what's actually new in MovieNX? So the biggest change is the physically based rendering and cameras. This allows us to use real world camera parameters to define how the scene is being rendered. A lot of the parameters you see here, you probably already know from your camera at home. Setting up parameters that lead to over or under exposure is much more intuitive. We have partnered up with Unigen and built MovieNX around Unigen 2, the 3D real-time rendering engine. This gives us access to a lot of new rendering features. For example, the volumetric cloud system. The clouds are now actual 3D objects instead of just images rendered to the top of the screen. Another new feature is the particle-based rain for which the intensity can be adjusted down here. Physically-based rendering has the huge advantage of giving us consistent renderings when changing the lighting conditions. For example, when the sun goes down, the overall picture not just becomes darker, but the overall color temperature becomes warmer due to atmospheric scattering. Looks great, Martin, but how do I actually create a scenario for MovieNX? So MovieNX is a full member of the CarMaker product family. You use the same tools as before to create your scenes. In this case, you take the scenario data to adjust the buildings, set up the construction site, and all this becomes available in your movie next scene. Cool. Can you show us the whole simulated scenario? Of course. So let's start up the simulation here. And there's Movie Nix running. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, so our artists actually went over all our 3D assets and made them ready for the physically based rendering. So they had to touch every asset you see here. Also a lot of lights and headlamps on the traffic, right? Yeah, so this is also a feature from Unigen. So they're using a deferred rendering engine and that allows us to place virtually unlimited number of lights in the scene. There's very lively traffic on the junction, right? Yeah, so all the new simulation features that are coming with Comica 10, you can directly see them here in Movie Next. Cool. And how are actually the traffic lights and headlamps controlled? Oh, they, they're using the same mechanisms as before. So we can use all the features we already have also here in Movie Next. Really cool. Thanks, Martin. Yeah, you're welcome. So great. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thanks for having me here. <laughs>